At this point, let's assume that we are done with the basic components of our document. Let's say we have typed the document, we have applied some of the different fonts and colors and uh, different components that we see here under the basic home tab along with the styles and now we want to insert additional com uh, components. To insert any components we'll need to click under the insert tab and this is where we can insert for example the cover page, blank pages, page breaks, we can insert tables, illustrations such as pictures, smart art, uh, shapes, smart, and charts and we can insert hyperlinks, headers, footers and additional components such as text and symbols. So let's go ahead here. Uh, let's say that we wanted to insert a picture and to insert pictures basically you just go somewhere in your document wherever you want to insert the picture, click on picture and then go and browse for pictures. You could browse under uh, your pictures folder in your computer or you can go on the web and get a picture from the web. If you were to get a picture from the web all you'd have to do is you would right click choose copy image and assuming here that we are okay with copyright stuff for images and then you'll go under your document and right click and choose paste or control V. Once you paste the image then you can click on the image itself and notice there's a new tab that opens up. Now if you double click on the image you'll see that this new tab will give you a whole new set of icons and options. These are what's called, what they are called, the contextual tools in Office 2010. These are tools that are given to you in the context of what you're doing. So in, the, in this case we are working with a picture, therefore we have all these picture tools. So we can change the background, we can change the color in this picture, recolor it, and adjust it we can change the style and uh, notice here we are using styles for formatting pictures and changing pictures so you can make this a little fancier by using a different style and you don't have to be a graphics artist to do this so I'll just pick something that is obvious here that we changed it and then go back here to the picture formatting and you can add uh, effects like three-dimensional stuff and another nice component here, nice feature, is the position. This is the position so you can tell uh, Word, Microsoft Word here where you want this picture and it will place it in the top right, uh, middle of the page on the left or bottom right and so on. To see this a little bit better, let me zoom it and that's how it will display. So for now let's say we want it in the middle left here zoom more into the document and now at this point you also have what's called the text wrapping. The text wrapping is that if I move this somewhere in the document here I can have this so that it's tight around the picture. So the text, notice the shape of my picture, it will wrap the text tightly around the picture. So that was under text wrapping and then tight. Notice it's doing this angle texting or text here which looks pretty decent. Then you can send the picture to the back and to the front and that type of thing as well and then additionally you can crop this picture. So if I click on crop and then you'll have to drag these corner pieces. So cropping it's basically just going to cut that picture and leave everything else out. Once you're done with the cropping, click on the crop icon and now it's done. If I move it somewhere else and notice you can also resize it to your liking. So in this process I uh, went under the insert tab, we went to the web, copied a picture, pasted it and adjusted its properties. The same way here you can utilize also you can insert clip art. So to insert clip art you'll go somewhere in your document and let's go to a new page here and then search for example for a clip art image it'll go to the web. 
you'll select the clip art that you want to download click on it once it's downloaded notice there's a new tab with uh, contextual tools for pictures we'll resize this and then you can choose the text wrapping around it which I'd recommend the tight text wrapping and notice the clip art and the text aligning around the clip art additionally you can insert shapes by simply clicking on shapes pick what you want and the difference with shapes is that you have to uh, draw it on the screen how big you want that specific shape so you click on it and then notice now we have the contextual tools for the shapes so you can apply a different style for this shape and then you can pretty much tinker with it to your liking here again the text wrapping it's kind of important as well I'll choose uh, tight and then notice that this arrow let's say I don't want it this direction you can choose to spin this around by simply clicking on this green button right here green circle 